Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another NASCAR post-race race review of the Coca-Cola 600. Wow, what a race that was. I mean, my heart is just pounding out of my chest right now. I cannot believe what I just saw in those last... I mean, the last 50 laps were fantastic, but the last, you know, restart, the three laps, oh my gosh, the, the overtime was so good, but um, whew, I got to catch my breath here a second. What a race that was. I mean, all three races, the two at Darlington, the Coca-Cola 600, they have been fantastic, and if you haven't watched NASCAR, maybe you're getting into it because it's like the only sport going on right now, go watch it. I mean, the last 50 laps for sure are worth your time, but even the last overtime, I mean, that's fantastic, and of course... Keselowski ends up getting the win. I'm not the biggest Keselowski fan, but due to the circumstances, you know, with honoring uh, veterans and, and honoring those who have served and who have died for the military, it's, it is incredible to hear his story, and I'm very happy that, that you know, he was able to win um, under those circumstances. But how about Chase Elliott pitting with two laps to go? I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. I don't know why he did that. I'll tell you why in a second, or at least why I believe, but we pit, you pit with two laps to go in the lead. You've seen all night how important being in the lead is. It doesn't matter if you're on two tires, no tires, four tires. If you're in the lead, you're doing well. You're going to win the race or at least have a chance. He pits with two laps to go. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I got to catch my breath again, but I really thought the first half of the race was super boring. The last 50 laps, though, I tell you what, ah, hats off to, to the to the drivers. I mean, they made it really cool. So let's back it all up and break it down. We'll start with stage one, stage two, stage three, and then we'll talk about Chase Elliott a little bit more in depth. But pitting with two laps to go, what do you guys think about that call? I want to know that down in the comments right now. I think it was so stupid. I mean, like I said, I'm a huge Chase Elliott fan. I'm a huge Jimmy Johnson fan. I love Hendrick Motorsports. But to pit with... Two laps to go when you're in the lead. Oh, that just bothered me. I I wanted Jimmy Johnson to win this race. I was okay with Chase Elliott winning this, but uh, it just it bothered me so much. So I want to know what you guys think. Now let's whew, let's start over here. First stage. All right, breaking it down, taking a breath. But the first stage was really boring. I mean, we got a rain delay for an hour and a half. It was it was not fun. Um, but. You, and really nothing happened either. I mean, Kurt Busch led, what, the first 50, 60, 70 laps maybe. Um, that's not even true probably. Probably like 50, but I, I don't have it right in front of me. But the point being, he was out front. And then Alex Bowman, he had a really strong car um, and really got it going. Even though he was kind of loose, as, as you can see pretty much the entire race. But Alex Bowman was really loose. Uh, then the rain comes out and pretty much kind of puts you know, a hold on things. It was an hour and a half wait. They had a lot of cool stories and a lot of cool interviews during that time. It didn't really feel like an hour and a half, but that kind of put, you know, made the the 600 mile race, the four hour long race even longer. So that was a little bit uh, saddening, I would say, but Alex Bowman wins the first stage. Clint Boyer had a really, really hard hit at the end of that stage as well. Um, you know, he's a good sport about it and everything. He's like, Hey, I got to go get a beer now. But, um, you know, it's, it's good to see him that was okay. I mean, he broke what? An, I don't know if it was an axle or not, but uh, he broke something in the right front and smacked the wall, took the air out of him. Uh, he could see that he was hurting a little bit after that. So good to see that he's okay and, of course, being a good sport about it. Um, but, yeah, that was a big hit. Uh, we didn't really see any any more cautions until the later parts of this race. Stage two, completely caution free. Alex Bowman won stage two as well. And then that's where he kind of started to fade. I mean, or other cars just got better. Martin Truex Jr. had a really strong car all night. Byron had a strong car. Elliot, the first half of the race, Elliot was kind of eh. He was there, but he wasn't doing much. The second half of the race, he was like a rocket out of a bottle. And that's why I'm saying, why did he pit? He was so good. I don't, I hope, I, I'm not watching the post-game interviews, of course, and that'll come out tomorrow, and maybe we can talk about that then, but what is the, what is the idea of that? I mean, he must have either had something wrong, or really thought that other cars were going to do the opposite of him, or maybe they were all going to pay, I don't really know, but uh, I'll get into that at the end of the video. Stage two, though, like I said, pretty boring, no cautions, Bowman wins, and then stage three, it kind of gets flipped around. Um, I think it was Bubba Wallace had an accident uh, or broke something. Um, 
Kenseth got in the wall a little bit later in the race as well. That hurt his day. But overall, I mean, this was two different races. I mean, the first half, boring. Second half, action. I mean, these guys are getting really aggressive, and I think that's what's going to make Wednesday's race so much fun. It's so much shorter, of course. It's only 500 kilometers instead of 600 miles, so I don't know. I'm not good at math, but what is that, like 200? Mm, mm -hmm, 220 laps, maybe? 200 laps? Something like that? I'm not really good. It's something around there, but uh, it's going to be a lot shorter of a race. Quick stages. Hopefully their tires are a lot less uh, and, and there's a lot more strategy involved. But uh, this race is, is going to be something different from what you see on Wednesday for sure. But uh, the second part of that race, that's what you're going to see the entire time. And I really liked that part of the race. So let's get into some details now about the ending. 50 laps to go. Caution comes out. That might have been the Matt Kenseth caution, but uh, caution comes out and everybody has to pit. So You've got Jimmy. I think Jimmy got out front, which I was so excited about. I'm like, Jimmy, you've got a chance here. Um, Elliot was out there in third. Keselowski, that's where he I, – did he? I think he took a gamble before that um, during one of the green flag pit stops. It didn't really work out for him, but he didn't lose a ton of spots. He, he, he gained spots, I think, because he went with two tires, but I'm not 100% sure. He got up to the front, though. He started last after unapproved adjustments, so – and that's another positive for him uh, winning this race. Started in the last and, and came all the way through the field. But um, definitely played some strategy in the middle there of that third and fourth stage. Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, Brad Keselowski are up there. And Jimmy Johnson has the worst restart, I think, of the day. I mean, that was awful. It really wasn't good. Elliott wasn't really giving him a lot of help. But um, it, I, I, I don't know what else Johnson could have done. I mean, he was the control car. Maybe have gone a second earlier. Maybe waited back a second. I'm not sure what he really could have done. But it was not a good restart. It really, really wasn't. Um, and that kind of screwed him. I mean, because then, I mean, Keselowski got out in front of him as well. But then Chase Elliott caught him. And he did a really good job of just pulling away. I mean, Elliott should have won that race. Then, three laps to go. Byron blows a tire. I think it was his right rear tire. Blows the tire. Kosh comes out. Green, white, checkered. Overtime. Here we go. And this is what I'm saying. So, you've got Chase Elliott, who, again, great all day. And you've got Jimmy Johnson behind him because uh, he was in third. So no matter – or you'd probably line up, I guess, on the inside, especially with how Keselowski ran the inside uh, on the previous restart. These guys are all on old tires. They're probably not going to pass you. If you get out front, you have that clean air like Joey Logano had in stage three. Uh, he had no tires, right, and completely ran away from the field when Elliott and Harvick stayed out and they had no tires. They fell back to the last two cars in the lead lap. So – Really, if you got out front and you had clean air, you were good. And that's crazy how clean air works. But you get out front, you got clean air, it works. And Chase Elliott would have been the control car, likely to take the inside with Jimmy Johnson behind him, and he would have gotten a push. Now, it could have been crazy, of course, because there were two laps to go and everybody wants to win the race. But that, I think, would have given Chase Elliott another chance. Now, on the contrary to that, you have Chase Elliott who stays out. Does everybody else pit? Um, I, can't, I can't pull it up here, but I think... Elliott Pitt, then Truex Pitt, uh, and then a couple of guys behind him. Truex finished 7th, so likely if he would have um, stayed out, I'm talking about Elliott here, if Elliott would have stayed out and everybody pits behind him, I mean, you're probably going to have a couple of guys who stay out, right? So you've got maybe a 2-3 to three car buffer of Elliott staying out, assuming everybody pits behind him. And then you have um, two laps to go, of course, and you're out in clean air. It just makes more sense to me than pitting. Of course, they're going to do the opposite of you, but you have that buffer. Now, you are behind the buffer, if that makes sense. I think Elliott restarted, what, like, 10th mm, almost? Something like that? 8th, ninth, 10th? He did get up to 3rd, and he finished 3rd. Maybe if he had, you know, 5 more laps, he probably could have caught Keselowski. But that clean air, again, it really helps. So... Was it a gamble? Yes, you lost the race because of it. You did get third. Is that the payoff? I don't know. A tough week for Chase Elliott, though. But I, I just I want to know what you guys think. I think Chase Elliott should have stayed out. He would have had that buffer and the clean air and likely Jimmy Johnson behind him. It's a, almost a guaranteed win in my book. Pitts with two laps to go completely blows it. So let's go through the top ten here. 
and then that'll be the video but like i said i want to know what you guys think so brad keselowski gets his first win of the season going from the back to the front good job for him and again that's an awesome story that he had uh honoring uh the guy on his on his car I, I don't have him in front of me otherwise i would be saying their names but uh so fantastic job by keselowski very emotional after the race and, and a good win for him uh jimmy johnson gets second oh my heart was pounding during that restart but uh the last 50 laps i wanted jimmy johnson to win so bad but gets second he's had a great car except for the one race at darlington he's had a great car all the time He's going to be good this year. Elliott ends up getting third, like I said. Good rebound for him, but still not to win. Uh, Ryan Blaney, fourth. Bush, fifth. Kyle Bush got fifth. Uh, Harvick, sixth. Truex finishes seventh. Kurt Busch, eighth. Reddick finishes ninth. A good day for him. And Christopher Bell finishes tenth after almost spinning uh, there, I think, in the third stage. He had a really good car most of the day and even almost went a lap down when Bowman was in the lead in stage two. So a really good finish for him. That's your top ten, and that is the race. So once again, happy Memorial Day. Um as most of you will get the day off but also just remember to honor those who have died uh serving our country or you know, who are still active in the military just remember that's what this weekend is about so i hope you guys um uh, will take the time to reflect on on that as what nascar has put together this weekend and and to those of you who have family members and who know people in the military or who have died in the military uh so thank you for your service that is all I got for you today. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want more NASCAR content, and I will keep providing it. So, let's uh, let's, let's let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.